Good morning, everybody. It's a busy one. Headlines at 530 this morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm Nettie Iranpour. I'm Eric Connor. Glad you are with us here on this Monday morning. This morning, a new policy impacting our border. It's now in effect. The program provides a channel for secure legal migration for Ukrainians who have a U.S. sponsor and pass security checks. Sponsors will also need to declare financial support. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol live in San Isidro now with what's happening right there at the border. Good morning. Good morning to you, Eric. Well, here at the Ped West Port of Entry over the past month, thousands of refugees have escaped war and made it here to the United States. Now, midnight last night, this area port of entry was supposed to close. We're giving you a live look right now at a family crossing into the United States. So obviously we're still seeing families make their way into the United States this morning, although it was supposed to close. Of course, we're working for you grabbing answers. So we spoke to a man who is in contact with humanitarian efforts across the border who believes that all Ukrainian refugees right now in Mexico will be processed by today. But uh, she said that it's pretty empty right now. She showed me pictures. She was walking around videos and it's uh, most of the people that are that are here are here and uh, they're just waiting to be, you know, vetted and We'll take a look at this video shot this morning. It's a pretty active area still. Now, that man is just one of many groups here helping what seems to be the last group of people find places to stay or arrange travel. Now, what happens moving forward beyond this morning? According to the Department of Homeland Security, refugees who now try to enter the U.S.-Mexican border will be turned away and pointed to the program website. The Biden administration is launching a program that will allow U.S. citizens and groups to financially sponsor Ukraine refugees so they can come to the U.S. sooner. Now it's designed to discourage them from traveling to Mexico to seek entry. Once the sponsorship program opens for applications later this month, U.S. individuals or organizations seeking to sponsor them will have to file an affidavit for financial support and undergo background checks. Then the Department of Homeland Security will determine whether they qualify to be sponsors. If granted entry under this program, Ukrainians will have parole, allowing them to bypass the visa and refugee programs, allowing them to live and work in the U.S. for two years. Now again, Ped West Port of Entry was set to close midnight last night. There are still families coming through. We will be here all morning long to share with you exactly what is going on, speaking to refugees who have, you know, escaped a long emotional journey of war, making it here. You hear cheers, you hear hugs of people finally making it. So many young kids we've seen this morning at 530, finally making it here to the United States. Moving forward with the new sponsorship program, this area again will be closed. This camp we're seeing multiple people start to pack up this morning. So stick with us as we continue to hear their stories.